Hi, this is Dennis, and in this video I'm going to show you how to apply logistic regression in Rapid Miner. Don't be confused by the name logistic regression. Uh, as a matter of fact, we are going to use logistic regression as a classification algorithm. All right. So because we basically use a logistic function to map out the numerical outcome of our model in order into categories, meaning that it just categorizes, it classifies coming data items. All right, so let's go ahead and check Rapid Miner and see how we can apply logistic regression. First of all, I will, re I will require input data and I'm going to just load it from the samples. And this time I will just use the, um, the sonar data. And let's, let's check how the sonar data look like. All right, so basically I have a class attribute here and there's a bunch of other attributes, so, so many of them. All right, so these are all numerical values, but we only have the class as, um, as a categorical variable. So this is basically rock, and what else do we have? Uh, rock or mine. All right, so basically these are the, uh, the sensor measurements from a ground penetrating radar or sonar or some sort of a signal, and then we are just trying to categorize, classify what, what kind of an object was that, um, was that we are detecting, All right? So let's go ahead and use our model, create our model, uh, logistic regression. We have a uh, logistic regression block. We'll just use that. But before doing so, let's go ahead and split the data. Yeah. There we have create the partitions, as always, two partitions. This is not, yeah, all right, so of course, so this is not the... Um, uh, the only way that you can partition your data or apply some sort of a um, proper validation method, maybe you could also use cross-validation, but let's go ahead for the sake of simplicity, let's go ahead and create two partitions. Uh, so I created two partitions. The larger portion is the training set, 70%, and the smaller portion, the 30%, is going to be my uh, test set. So I will require an apply model block so that I can put my unlabeled data as an input here, input to here, and also my model from logistic regression should come as an input to apply model as well. All right, so as the final step, I would like to measure the performance, but performance of, of what? It's a classification, don't forget, it's a classification performance block. So I selected the classification performance block, right? Let's make the connections. Um, this is my performance, and this is going to be the labeled data. So performance uh, for performance, you can go ahead and select a bunch of those performance uh, measurements, metrics. Let's run this. All right, so what we see here is that we have the class, the original class, and we also have the predicted class, right? If you take a look at the uh, performance tab, we see that the accuracy, the test accuracy is seven, almost 71%. And we also see the confusion matrix that tells me what kind of mistakes my model is making, right? So let's also go ahead and check something else. Yes, uh, this is what I wanted to show you. So, you know, this model is making predictions on classes, right? So it just produces classes, but it only does so by uh, first calculating this value and then using a logistic function, it just maps the value into the prediction class. And this is actually the confidence of, uh, of how far away that particular uh, data point from the decision boundary. So this is not the value that it's, c it's calculating, but this is the confidence. So the higher the confidence, the, the farther away the data point is from the decision line. Okay, so that was it. That was um, that was basically logistic regression in Rapid Miner.